When you look at the truss, have you ever asked yourself why pin joints and not rigid connections? See, this choice has everything to do with how trusses are designed to handle forces and loads. So let's dive into this particular details why trusses are designed as pin joint structure. See, trusses are essentially an assembly of straight members configured in specific way to transfer applied loads. Now the key is that these members are primarily handle actual forces. That's either tension or compression. Now see, this behavior is achieved because of the truss geometry and how the load is applied. See, actual force dominate and bending moments or shear forces are within the members and they are too minimal. Now let's talk about the joints. See, truss joints are typically designed to arrest or capture translation, meaning they prevent member from sliding apart. But they don't arrest rotation. Why? Because see, truss members don't generate moments at this particular joints. Since there is no need to resist moments, pin joints are sufficient and they are simpler, cost effective, make the analysis and design process more straightforward. But here is the important part. See, it's not the pin joints alone that defines the truss behavior. The truss configuration and the way loads are applied eliminate the need for the rigid joints. Now see, if loads are applied in a way that, that introduce bending moments, even the pin joints wouldn't prevent issues. That's why trusses must be carefully designed and loaded to the work as intended. So next time when you see a truss, remember, it's the configuration and the forces that make it work with the pin joints as the perfect support for the system. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more engineering insights.